Hello to all the viewers. I'm very happy to introduce to you Dr. Arman Seth, who is rank nine, rank nine in the INICT exam. Arman, such an awesome rank, a result of your hard work over the past few years. What are you feeling right now? Sam, I'm feeling really good, sir. Thank you. And uh, I'm very happy that I was able to get this rank in this exam. Okay. And Arman, see, with a top rank of nine, see, in the conversation that we have had over the past two years, remember, we first actually met through the practical sessions that I took for you during yes, your final MBBS exams. So uh, let's start with that. How useful there were those practical sessions? Yes, sir. So during the uh, during the lockdown, we were really I was really longing for some practical sessions because we had no exposure at that time. I just had my a medicine posting, and then we, we had the lockdown. So at that time, I really wanted to attend a lot of practical classes, which was not possible. So when you told us about the sessions, I was really excited since uh, I could uh, finally we could discuss symptomatology and cases based on uh, uh, and why why each symptom is so important and that built our found, my foundation really for medicine and I really loved the, that session a lot and if you would have had more of them I would have liked it even more but yes I attended the, your neurology session as well other than that and cardiology session was also really great sir. And I think you were the volunteer for the cardiovascular system discussion right? Yes, yes sir. Okay so uh, what are you going to take for your post graduation? So I want to take medicine. All right so that is great. So medicine always, you know, is a fascinating branch and yes, I'm sir. happy that you are going to take medicine. So just a while back, I had an interaction with uh, your batchmate in MAMC, Shagun, who was also there in those practical sessions. So she's also going to take uh, medicine. So happy for you. Now for the viewers uh, who are going to prepare for the upcoming INICT, they would uh, want to listen to your advices. So first of all, take us through the pattern of INICT this time and how it was slightly different from the usual INICT. So uh, this time I felt that the questions were not as typical as they usually are in INICT because we, we, we generally hear that the topics are repeated and we know that those, those questions in one way or the other uh, are repeated in the form of options or options are repeated as questions. But this time I felt that uh, the questions were not that straightforward and even the options were even the options were some of them were like we had never heard them before and even after the exam I had no clue how my exam had gone because even in those questions where I had a doubt in between two options even by the end I couldn't be sure of those uh, options and also I felt that I had done a lot of mistakes by the end of the exam okay. so at the end I didn't really feel that I had, I had no clue how my exam went in the end because I didn't know what the answers were. Okay, all right. So, uh, as you rightly said, the exam was slightly atypical this time, which again gives us a very important message. That is, when you prepare for a national competitive exam, you should have a good range. So, usually in INICT, there are a good number of clinical oriented questions. But this time, if you take medicine, the questions were more factual. Yes, there were clinical questions, but they were relatively very simple, like the iron deficiency anemia one. So relatively simple ones, which never tested the actual knowledge. But again, for other subjects, there were many factual questions. So Arman, I'm sure that during your preparation, you probably had a good range. That is, you prepared yourself for the clinical scenarios. At the same time, you would have had a good theory backup as well, in case there is uh, some questions asked based on the theory stuff, right? That is rather than clinical, more hardcore theory, such questions also you were prepared, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, how many questions did you attempt in the exam? Sir, I attempted all of the questions. All the questions, so all 200 questions, good. Yes. So this is again important because um, usually toppers in INICT attend above 190. So what was it a deliberate strategy? Did you take risk in the exam? Yes, sir, definitely, sir. Uh, I had thought that I have to be aggressive to, to be able to get a good rank. And sir, uh, there were many questions which I probably had little clue about. Okay. Like normally, I, my strategy initially was that I will 
attempt all those questions in which I can eliminate two options out. Okay. But by the end, I thought that eliminate even which I'm able to eliminate one option, I was attempting because there were a few of those which I thought that maybe I have heard about it. I'm not sure, but I attempted those questions. And uh, for the viewers, uh, something very unique about Arman is that um, he's a very good quizzer. Okay, so uh, rarely do you find uh, medical students so interested in quizzing. Arman participates in almost every medicine quiz. That is what I understand. And uh, in doc tutorials also, we had conducted a national quiz for medicine for which Arman was in top six. And also for the pediatrics quiz also, Arman was in top six. So Arman, what is the secret about this quizzing? Sir, uh, I, when I was in my, I started quizzing when I was in my second year. So sir, at that time, I felt that since uh, I, I, I normally felt that if I'm just studying plain, plainly, I found, I found it not quite interesting that way. But when I was quizzing, I thought that I'm able to apply those clinical aspects into in, uh, clinical questions. And so then that way I felt like I felt like studying even more. So that was very interesting for me. And right now I, I love quizzing a lot and I've done a lot of quizzing in my MBBS. And so that way, uh, many questions which I, I, I wouldn't have probably studied while my routine studies, I got to know a lot of things just by quizzing. So that is a very interesting strategy because uh, you give yourself targets also. Okay, there is a quiz coming up. So I know I have got to prepare medicine. So you prepared well. And you also told me that uh, the, the pediatrics quiz that was conducted by Sandeep Sharma, sir, uh, of Doc Tutorial. So that time you gave yourself a target. You went through his notes. You prepared well. And then you appeared in the quiz, right? Yes, sir. Because, sir, also uh, after the quiz, uh, when I had a chat with Sandeep, sir, he made a point that all six candidates, all six finalists were equally good. Because uh, there was very less to differentiate between candidates. It's only that on a particular day, maybe a one or two question going around here or there. And he told me that some of the questions which were of, say, postgraduate level also were answered by you all guys. So he was very impressed by all the finalists of the quiz. Okay. And I should also make one point that when I conducted the medicine quiz of doc tutorials also, the preliminary round we slightly kept it on the tougher side, slightly on the tougher side. But I think the performance of you guys who scored in top six was again, very good. So really appreciate your uh, knowledge level because uh, for a question which had recent updates also in, in that particular uh, say quiz, I had asked a few questions on recent updates also and majority of them you could actually uh, get it right. So, and one very interesting th thing about Arman is that he's always updated. So uh, we just had a chat a while back and he said, uh, he always kept himself at updated, like he went through the latest guidelines. So rather than, you know, you have watched my video on the Jinnah guidelines of bronchial asthma. So rather than just uh, superficially studying a topic, what makes you actually go to the depth of the subject, Arman? So uh, I feel that if if I'm going to uh, going through one topic, so it's better to study it uh, in whole at once because otherwise I will definitely have confusions if I attempt a question later on and I think that I studied this topic but I still don't know the answer. So it's better that I go through the topic once and I understand everything about it. That way, then uh, that topic is once and for all done for quite some time. Yeah. And if, even if I have to go through it, it will be uh, in a short amount of time as compared to what it would have taken me earlier. This is very important because uh, let me tell all my dear students listening to this interview. Uh, if you're planning to take medicine post-graduation, you should be someone like Arman. Because what I've noticed is that even during the interaction that I had with him during the practical sessions, rather than just knowing the answer, theory answers, he was always interested in knowing the why of it. So he was very interested in knowing the why of it, which is why he wanted to have clinical discussions because at that point of time he being a candidate seriously preparing for the entrance he was not just focusing on entrance he was also focusing on actual clinical medicine because otherwise some candidates would just go to the theory books just learn some stuff and you know that is it you know let me pass the exam but uh, arman i really appreciate that attitude of yours and uh, 
for the viewers uh, one question let me ask you is about the importance of gts so you said that in the doc tutorials grant test that you gave one of your score was uh, 40 one of your rank was 40 so just tell us that in general how does grant test help a student because uh, many students who are preparing for entrance have a particular problem that they keep reading and reading but never give grant test in your preparation i know that you have cracked in first attempt itself after your very hectic internship but tell us what role did grant test play in getting this rank of 9 so initially even I, I i thought that i'll finish the entire syllabus and then i'll attempt the grant test but as my internship progressed i knew that that would never happen that i, I would think that all my syllabus is done never attempt a test and i knew that uh, initially that feeling is a bit uncomfortable that of attempting the test at first because we think that we want to be perfect in all the answers but then but then compared to what we would do on, on the exact exam day it is always better to be in practice because the more grand tests we do the less we will feel on the exam day that oh it's a special test that day like on the exam day i only felt that i'm going for just another test and i was calmer because i thought that i have given more grand tests Okay. It doesn't, the language of the question doesn't feel as if I'm doing something new. So that is the importance of grand test because first it tells us our position, our relative position amongst our peers and second, then that day we don't feel scared or nervous of the exam. And there was always medicine in your mind while you were preparing for your entrance exams? Yes, sir. Ever since I attended my medicine posting, I always wanted to take medicine. Okay. And uh, today when the results actually came out, you knew the results were going to come out in the evening. Were you nervous in the morning? So actually, I thought that the result will come at around 7, 8 p.m. So I wasn't looking at the uh, website. But okay. then a friend called me where it has come. So then I opened it up at that time, around 4 o'clock. Okay. Yes, and uh, see, during your preparation phase, were there any ups and downs? Like, obviously, you know, you, you are a solid performer, but... Were there times where you felt, you know, I have got so much of portions to cover, internship going. So how did you keep yourself self-motivated during this time? Definitely, sir. I think that uh, during my in uh, initial part of my internship, I wouldn't study much initially because my portions were medicine, then ops, gynae. In between, I did have my, after that, I had my PSM posting where I could study a bit. But then again, till the end, my portions were mostly hectic. I didn't get much time to uh, specifically give time to dedicated study. It was more of like if I'm on my posting, I would just uh, go through some video or, or probably flip some notes in between if I have some time. But I didn't have much time for dedicated study. So yes, I was I was I was nervous till the end, and I thought that my course is not covered. And but in the end, I just thought that yes, I have been studying well for the past you know, three four years, and I knew that if I am calm on the exam day then I'd probably be able to answer most of the questions. So that is also very important, being calm on the exam day, because I know that Arman going to the INICT exam, he would have expected a question paper, which is slightly different, which everyone would have expected, including us faculties. But it is the calmness and the presence of mind, which helps you adapt to certain crises. Because suddenly he should change his mindset. Okay, this paper is slightly different. So that thought process should be clear in your mind. Otherwise, what will happen is you would have prepared well, but when you see a slightly different pattern, you tend to fumble. Okay. And uh, Arman, everyone at home must be happy right now. It has been yeah. a long journey, right? It has been a long journey. You have worked so hard. And uh, obviously, this is a moment to cherish. And uh, Arman, I'm very, very proud of you uh, for uh, your achievement. And uh, it's all your hard work. And uh, keep smiling and uh, keep shining. Once you get to medicine residency, be very sincere in your residency. First year, you know, you focus on patients, ward work. Eventually, when you get your specialty postings, you develop that interest for the corresponding super speciality. Because you will get an orientation because as of now, your interest is towards cardiology. So by second year, I think you will be in a better position to say, okay, I like cardio or maybe maybe nephro. So that will be there. And then obviously, I'm sure you will be able to crack even DM also in the first attempt. So 
uh, all the best arman and uh, that's it thank you so much thank you so much sir thank you